Um, all right. I was hoping I wouldn't have to make this video, but things have gotten kind of out of control the last few days, and I figured that it would make sense for me to address everything. I'm sure most of you have seen the videos already if you're involved in the community at all. Um, but I just thought it was necessary for me to give my side of the situation and some context, hopefully. Like I said, things have gotten out of hand. I wanna take accountability and responsibility and hopefully show that I've changed um, and that I don't wanna be involved in drama. So maybe we can put this all to rest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, the other day, Drew Gooden went on Instagram and he had this to say. All right, so you guys are probably aware of the fact that I've literally never gone live on Instagram before. I didn't even know it was a feature until about 30 seconds ago, but I had to come on here and tell you about how much of a rat that Scott Kramer is. This guy is making YouTube videos? That's my thing, dude, so back off. Unless you want my lawyer to come kick your door down. He's got a very strong foot. Bitch. So this is obviously really embarrassing for me. I'm not here to step on anybody's toes. I don't want to cause issues. I didn't know that it was his thing. I realize now, looking back, I should have probably noticed that he is the only other YouTube channel on the entire website. That wasn't something that I had taken notice to before. I've been made aware of that now. So I'm not going to post any more YouTube videos. I'm done doing that. This is a YouTube video. This doesn't count. But also in my defense, you can't tell somebody that they're not allowed to do something because it's your thing. That's just like not how you handle stuff. I would never do that to somebody. After that Instagram Live, I figured everything was over, but I guess a bunch of other people decided to come out of the frickin' woodwork with hit pieces on me. The first of which was Jarvis Johnson. Hey guys, I don't usually discuss drama or anything that's happening in my personal life here, but um, something happened to me this past weekend that I feel the need to address. Scott Kramer, I don't know if you know him, he makes really shitty videos. Ouch. But I play nice. Scott thinks it's funny to sign me up for a game show because he's the game show guy and the game show was called Death or Breath. It's a game show where whoever holds their breath for the longest wins. And the other people die. Scott knows I have asthma. So what the f was I supposed to do, huh? Yeah, it was a goof. Everything is so freaking PC nowadays. You can't even sign up a friend for a dangerous game show without everyone trying to freaking cancel you. He also won the show, by the way. So I'm not entirely sure what he's so upset about. I'm lucky I mustered the courage to hold my breath, and I did it longer than the other contestants, but now I have the guilt of those other five souls that lost their lives. Bro, honestly, I'm not taking accountability for this one. Fuck you, Scott Kramer. Fuck you. This is not my fault. I think it's pretty clear that in this situation, I am the victim here. I'm being attacked for no reason. I also did not know that he had asthma. Like he said, I knew that. I always thought he was just like sucking on a vape pen or something. And once again, the Scott Kramer hate train did not stop there. It just kept on rolling. People kept piling on. Curtis Connor, who I'm also now just realizing also makes videos, Drew. He thought it'd be appropriate to like, dig up dirt from my past. Do not support Scott Kramer. How dare you? We used to work together at Madison Square Garden a few years ago. Uh, we'd come out onto the court and we'd, uh, during timeout and we'd shoot t-shirts into the audience with our t-shirt guns. One day, Scott showed up to work with a t-shirt knife uh, and I don't know how that was supposed to work, but he said he wanted to stand out so he could get promoted to point guard, which is not how basketball works at all. Now I see him, he's off on YouTube acting like this nice, happy-go-lucky guy. He's not, okay? He's a lunatic. We got it worked out with HR. They fired me, it's over, we move on. Nobody even got hurt that didn't deserve it. So I feel like this was a low blow. All right, shirt knife was a good idea. I stand by that. And in my defense, I wanted to be point guard so bad. This motherfucker Curtis was always bursting my bubble at work, by the way. Oh, you can't borrow my wallet for snacks. You've stolen hundreds of dollars from our other coworkers and I don't trust you anymore. Like, dude, it was a goof. Then give them their money back if it was a goof. I lost it, okay? And of course, just when you think you know a guy, when you think you found a friend on this website, Mr. Gigi had something to say too. I never saw the day where I'd make this video, but 
If you're still supporting Scott Kramer in 2022, I'm here to tell you that the fucking nice guy act is up. This dude messaged me saying, hey, I saw some of your hot sauce videos, super funny, take him down. I was like, what the f is this guy talking about? So I just said, LOL. He messaged me again, hey, take him down. I was like, okay, my dude's probably off a few Shirley Temples right now, whatever. He copyright claims those videos. Yeah, because that's my thing. You're not allowed to do it. I'm saying like, a, I'm messaging him like, dude, what the f is going on? And he's like, bro, I don't know if you know this. I made the Hot Ones parody. It was the biggest thing ever. I own hot sauce now. Ever heard of a little thing called 4.1 million views, GG? That's why they call me Hot Ones Harry. I was knighted by Sean Evans. I'm the f***ing hot sauce connoisseur. They call me Hot Ones Harry. Yeah, exactly. It honestly pisses me off that the guy who took me under his wing when I was just a wee little YouTuber is coming after me like this. I feel like I'm young Justin Bieber and he's Usher, jealous of me because I won a freaking Grammy for best hot sauce or something. Literally bullying me for no reason. You people are toxic. This is bullshit. Hey guys, uh, while I was editing this video, there have been more accusations that have come out against me, namely from Joel Haver, who I thought was my friend. I let you use my shower. You scumbag. I'm just gonna live react to this nonsense. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I heard it's pretty damning, so I wanna see it for myself. So this is really not easy for me to uh, talk about. Um, I know many of you are fans of Scott Kramer, the YouTube guy. I'm gonna start you off by telling you some heinous shit he did. Him and I went to elementary school together, third grade. I had a Flintstones push pop and I specifically brought it in an ice, little ice bag, cooler bag. I said, you want a little lick on this little Flintstones push pop? And uh, the, the mother fucker, he pushes it all the way out the dang pop, the yeah, dang okay, thing Yeah, okay, so here's the thing about that. Here's I the thing about that. What Joel isn't gonna tell you here, what he's failing to mention is that he didn't, I didn't ask if I could have a lick. He asked if I could push it out because he couldn't get it out because he's got little baby hands and his little baby hands couldn't push the push pop out. He's being really deceptive right now. I'm stuck having to hold the dang Flintstones push pop in my hand and eat it like a Un chump. Unreal, are you kidding me? We were going to see the movie uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, namely with Johnny Depp. Speaking and, of that, um, actually, stop sending me pictures of Mike TV and saying it looks like me, all right? I'm sick of it. I've been a victim enough here. I don't need you guys bullying me as well. I didn't even know anything about the story. Little did I know on the car ride there, Scott would spoil the whole thing for me. He told me that Charlie, the little boy, the little tiny guy in the movie, wins a golden ticket. Dude, so yeah, it, as a goof. I, I literally spoiled it for you as a goof. Like, I don't get why you're attacking me and coming after me like it wasn't a goof. Definitely a good movie. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Okay, hold on. I, actually, it seems like while I was in the process of absolutely dismantling every single point Joel was just making, Drew Gooden went live on Instagram again. Hey Instagram, uh, I just wanted to hop on live real quick and expose Scott Kramer. He's a YouTuber, but if that doesn't ring a bell, he's also a little bitch. Okay, I'll be honest. This is really starting to actually get to me. This guy just texted me and asked if I could babysit him this weekend. First of all, I'm busy. Second of all, you're my age, dude. You don't need a babysitter. And he said, well, what if I get hungry? I said, I don't know, then make food. What is this, your first time being alive? Don't text me anymore. I am so deleting your number. By the way, I can make food. I'm just scared of taking hot things out of the oven. You know that. F you. I honestly don't know how much more of this I can take. I am very thin skinned. Oh. Uh Eric from Pretty Much It is literally live right now talking about me. What's up? Hey, thanks for joining my live. Uh, no, I don't mess with Scott anymore. Scott Kramer. For anyone that doesn't know what he did, I'm not going to say it here. But you know what, Scott, if you're watching, <laughs> that was my mom. Okay, and you're married. And my mom's been dead for four years. It's sick what you did. Just sick. I did not have sex with Eric's mom. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna use, you, you can't use this, it's too much. I'm gonna do it again, you tell me if this is too much. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> All right, strugglers, happy April Fool's Day. I hope you can forgive me for everything that I've done. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much to those bastards who tried to ruin me. That is all I've got for you. I will talk to you again next week. Goodbye. God. This is gonna be too dark and up and weird. You're not gonna use this.